Hey everyone today, I have a question for you. Have you heard of Freds, the new app that could kill Twitter? If you haven't, you're missing out on the biggest news on social media. Threads is a new app from Meta, the company that owns Facebook and Instagram. It's like Twitter, but better. And it's taking the world by storm. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about Threads, why it's so popular, and why it might be the end of Twitter. Let's get started. Threads is a new social media app that Meta launched on July 5th, ahead of schedule. It's a clone of Twitter, but with some improvements. You can post short messages called Threads, Reply, Love, quote, and comment on other people's threads, and follow your favorite topics and accounts. The app has a simple black and white design that makes it easy to read and use. But the best part is that you can link your Instagram account to threads and bring all your followers with you. That means you don't have to start from scratch and rebuild your community on a new platform. You can just continue where you left off on Instagram. Sounds awesome, right? Well, it gets even better. Threads was an instant hit with users, especially those who were fed up with Twitter. In less than 24 hours, Threads attracted some 30 million users. And with Meta already having more than 2 billion Instagram users who can easily switch to Threads, the app's user base will grow fast. Threads is already trending on the App Store and getting rave reviews from users and critics alike. So why is Threads such a game changer? Well, let me take you back to October of last year when Elon Musk became the CEO of Twitter. That was the beginning of the end for Twitter. Musk started firing staff, causing instability and outages on the platform. He also messed up the verification system and forced verified users to pay for their blue ticks. This led to a lot of impersonation and misinformation on the platform. He also attacked reputable news outlets like the BBC and labeled them as state-owned media. He also limited how many tweets users can view and announced that TweetDeck would be only for paid accounts. Can you believe that? How ridiculous is that? What were they thinking? Twitter users were outraged by these changes and started looking for alternatives. Some tried Mastodon but found it too confusing and complicated to use. Some tried Spootable and Post, but they didn't have enough features or users to compete with Twitter. Some tried Bluesky, which was created by Twitter co-founder Jack Dorsey, but it was invitation only and hard to get into. None of these alternatives could match the experience and community that Twitter had built over the years. Twitter was more than just a platform for sharing information. It was a place where journalists, governments, academics, and the public could interact and discuss the key issues of the day. It was also a place where people could get real-time support in emergencies and disasters. Twitter had its flaws like trolls, bots, and online abuse, but it also had ways to deal with them like blocking, reporting, and verifying content. That's what Threads offers. A similar experience and community to Twitter, but without Musk's interference. Threads that you keep your username, your followers, your topics, and the features that you love from Twitter. But it also gives you more control over your content and privacy. Threads is not perfect either. It still has some bugs and glitches that need to be fixed. It also has some challenges ahead, like dealing with moderation, regulation, competition, and monetization. And Twitter is not giving up without a fight. Twitter's lawyer sent a letter to Meta accusing them of stealing trade secrets from Twitter. The letter claims that former Twitter employees who were hired by Meta were assigned to develop threads as a copycat of Twitter. Meta has denied these allegations, but the rivalry between the two companies is heating up. So there you have it. Some of the pros and cons of threads, the new app that could replace Twitter. What do you think? Are you convinced by threads? Or are you skeptical about it? Or maybe you're still loyal to Twitter? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.